All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to automate your fulfillment with Trainerize and the many mistakes I see trainers make. Uh, many of you guys, this is how you guys are doing it. So when you go to, um, shoot, when you go to clients right here, right, let's pretend we just signed up a client and I'm just going to use the Timmy Explorer example one, right? So as you can see, he has no workout. Now, most of you guys are getting new clients and creating workout plans from scratch, which I don't think is necessary whatsoever, unless you get a very unique scenario where someone doesn't have legs and they could only do pull-ups or something. And I know that's probably not the nicest way to put this, but hopefully you guys get the picture. If you get someone who's in a, in a wheelchair who needs only arm workouts, obviously you're going to have to completely customize the program. But I can tell you from transforming over 3,000 lives through my fitness program that I don't think that's necessary for everybody. So most coaches, what I see them doing is they have a new client. Okay, let's go to his profile. Hold on, it's been a while since I used this, so bear with me. So here we have his profile, right? And you go to training program. And you guys start creating the workout program from here. This is what I see most coaches do, which is the wrong way, because this will not work asynchronously, meaning everybody won't be able to tap into his program. Only Timmy will be able to get this program. So what I see most of you guys doing is adding the phases from here, right? You go to add next and then you're like week one Greek God program. And this is super like time consuming and not an efficient way to grow the business. You're like, yeah, we're going to start Wednesday. It's going to be four leaks long. And then you save. And then, you know, you start creating from scratch. You're like, okay, week one beginner, you know, got Greek God workout, right? Just for example purposes. And you start building from there and then boom, boom, boom. You start adding the videos. Now, this is the wrong way to create a program unless you're charging $10,000 for a completely unique program, in my opinion. And honestly, this is not necessary. So instead, what we're going to do is create a master program where if you had 100 clients sign up right now, they would boom, automatically be zapped right in and have the same workout program as long as you are doing this ethically to people who can, you know, who apply to that program. So I created multiple master programs and I'm going to show you how that looks, how we're going to do this instead. So instead, what you're going to do is you're going to go click on the left hand side, you see master libraries, and then you're going to click on programs right here. Now I've had this trainerize account for almost six years. So I have a lot built out here. Now, as you can see, these are the master programs. I had a 30 day challenge, four day get lean and quarantine challenge four day intermediate workout program, a five day beginner workout program, and all these are built out. So any scenario that came into my program and you don't need this many, you should probably only need like three, one for like beginners, one for intermediate and one for advances. What I think you just need to stick by. So let's just go to our Greek God signature workout program. This was like the one that I sold the most of. And some people would either ascend into this program or start from start there um, from the scratch. We would add sometimes beginners in there depending on, you know, where they're at. But it was like a little bit more of an intense workout program. So as you go to calendar, right, you have all the workouts scheduled in. So if I signed up a client right now, it would immediately be added to here, which is already built out. Right. Monday chest, you know, Tuesday back, Wednesday legs, Thursday shoulders, Friday arms. Now, the way you start creating these massive programs is you click on new right here. And you're going to build a program for everybody. So name your program, whatever it is, right? Greek God program 2024, just to make things easy. And um, you'll keep it on phased training program. That way there they get it every week or every month, I should say. See four phases of four weeks equals uh, 16 weeks. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make it for eight. Oh, that would be four months. So if your program is... Uh, three months, you would just change the phases to three phases. If it's a four month program, you would keep it at four phases, four phases. And then as you can see here, it says automatically scheduled uh, progress photos and weigh-ins at the start end of each training phase. Keep that on. And it says save to um, 
shared master programs. You want it on shared master programs. That way there you can send it to anybody. Then we're just going to click on save. And we're going to start creating our program. So click on new. And we're going to name it week one Greek God 2024. We're going to do, you know, if you're doing regular workouts, that's what I did. Regular, if you're doing circuit workouts, circuit interval will be here. Start building. Okay. And let's just say that we're doing a chest um, day. So what we would do, you know, let's type in chest press just to make this easy for, you know, um, example purposes. Okay. We'll say uh, we want them doing this chest press machine seated parallel. We'll click on add to workout. And then we're going to say, you know, I like my clients doing four sets. Um, if you want it in text or time. So how many reps? We'll do 15 reps. I used to keep our clients rest time at 30 seconds. I liked intensive training, but you're the coach here. I'm not here to teach you how to work out. I'm here to teach you how to build programs and sell programs. Okay. So that's good. And you can even... Um, I know you can even add supersets if you click on this dot right here. And then let's say I'd wanted them to superset with flies. Uh, I wouldn't superset it with that, but or we'll say with these flies, that's a lot of work, but add to workout, right? You can click on that and then superset it together. If you choose to, you don't have to, you know, your, your own style is your own style and you can do 10 reps, right? And then you can add the rest after that, right? We'll say, Hey, you get 30 seconds of rest after that. Okay. Um, now this is good to go. So now we can add the next workout. So let's just say we wanted them to do dumbbell press. Incline dumbbell press, right? Boom. We add that. And this is how you start building. I don't think I need to show the rest, but we got the first set super set. Of, we're going to put four sets because we were training people to be Greek gods here. Um, only 30, 30 seconds of rest after each super set. And then they're going to go into their next workout. We're going to do four sets and it's going to be, I, don't, I never put the weight. I didn't, I used to put an explanation with a loom video. Like, Hey, you want to keep your weight with like, you know, where 10 reps is your maximum. That's how I personally did it. If you want to put the weight, you can. However, I don't think it's necessary, but you are the coach. I'm not, again, I'm not here to teach you how to be a trainer. I'm here to teach you how to build programs and sell. So let's just say we did, oh shoot, uh, 10 reps, right? 30 seconds and we're good to go. Now we're going to click on save. So let's just pretend for a second that this program was fully built out. You just click on save and boom, we got our week one, at least Monday, uh, built out. Then what I do is I go back. So let's pretend that chest was built out, back was built out, legs, so on and so forth. I go back to calendar and we're going to click right here. We're going to add workout. Okay, and we're going to go to select from current training program and boom, we got our workout right there. Week one, Greek God 2024. Okay, you can create it just from here as well, but I showed you the way that that you can do it. Option one. So now they got their chest workout scheduled in on Monday. You can change this stuff to whatever day you want them to do their check ins, check body stats, track progress photos. So I like to put it on uh I used to have my check-ins on Thursday um, because that gave me time to prepare for, you know, their check-in videos and stuff um, and for them to go food shopping by Monday. So basically they would do their check-in Thursday, Friday. I would then send them a loom video or have their one-to-one -one call. They would have their new nutrition plan sent to them. Some coaches do monthly nutrition plans. I used to do weekly or bi-weekly. So they have Saturday, Sunday, to get their, you know, food shopping prepared, no excuses. And Monday, they're ready to tackle their new week being prepared, right? Be prepared to win or you're going to be prepared to fail, right? And this is just going to remind them every Thursday to track their body stats. Now, another cool thing you can do here is you can make this a repetitive task. So the way you make this a repetitive task, I think you got to do it manually, is you just click right here, click on body stats and set repeat options. So it says body stats. I like to add photos. And auto message to remind them, right? Check in, okay? Make the time, uh, I used to make it 9 a.m. You can make it whatever time you want. And I would say, hey, first name, oops, 
shit. Uh, there should be auto fields, first name. Reminder to check in with body stats slash pictures. Our best clients check in every week. Okay, very simple. Okay, you're going to add, schedule, set repeat option every Thursday, apply, add. Now it should repeat every Thursday unless I might have messed something up here. Okay, so that's where I made the mistake. You got to make sure you, boom, make it the whole 12 weeks. Sorry about that. Apply, add. Now we should be repeated every single week. Boom, we're good to go, okay? Um, cool, so that's how you make repeat tasks. That's how you create a master program. You're gonna have to create it you know, each one by one. And in the next thing, I'm gonna show you how to actually add. So this is what we do instead. So let's pretend that Timmy joined our program. We're gonna click on clients, okay? And we are going to go to Timmy the Explorer. And uh, I think you could do it from here. Yeah, click on training program, or you could go to their dashboard, same thing. And instead of doing it individualized, so every time a client comes in, you're spending hours on adding your stuff, we're just gonna say, subscribe to master program. And then we're gonna add them to the selective workout program. As you can see, these are all my master programs. So anybody that came to me, hey, I can only work out three times a week, boom, no problem, free weights three times a week. Hey, I can only work out at home, two times a week, boom, here you go. You know, you don't need this many. Like I said, you just need a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And again, like create workouts as you build your business. You can, you know, you don't have to have these all built out. I progressively built them out month after month. So I would get a new client where they're like, hey man, I can only work out, you know, twice per week. And then I was like, you know what? Let me create a program for that, for home workouts for twice a week. Now that everybody that comes to me, you know, I can just add them in there. I don't have to start it from scratch. So again, we're gonna add him to the um, Greek God program, okay? Uh, I'm gonna add him to my old one instead of, because I didn't fully build, out, build, out, build that one out. So Greek God workout program, and then you can add when you want them to start. So let's say we want them to start on Tuesday. Main program, subscribe as main program, subscribe. And now he has his whole entire Greek God program right here. Right, I didn't have to create this from scratch because he's in a master program. Now, anybody who joins is gonna get this same program that adds them to a Greek God workout program, okay? So I hope this made sense. Now, another question I get asked frequently is like, hey, Eric, what if I'm doing a low ticket program for $97? Um, you know, do I create a brand new program for them? What I used to do, if someone could not afford my high ticket program, I'd be like, great. So you'll get a workout program, you'll get one nutrition plan, and you're not going to get one-to-one -one support, so on and so forth. And this is, again, where I put the uh, instructions. I would just literally add the client, like once the client signs with the trainer eyes, I would add them to the Greek God workout program. They would get, you know, that three-month program for 97 a month, but they would not get the one-to-one -one coaching. So you didn't have to create a whole brand new $97 program. You just literally add them to the Greek God program minus the one-to-one -one coaching the weekly check-ins, you know, and all the other stuff that um, they get. So what you can do is you can duplicate that and then you can actually just duplicate the master program, remove the reminders of checking in and all that, or just keep them if you want. You can have them checking in and just not respond. Um, that way there you can still get progress photos and you're just not doing your one-to-one -one coaching calls and stuff like that. Now, I highly encourage you guys not to do low ticket at first with your business, um, but it is a good uh, kind of like ace of spade to have in your pocket if someone honestly truly cannot afford your service just to have it in there to maybe um, you know um, upsell them into your high ticket in the future or just not leave money on the table but I really encourage you guys to push for high ticket as much as possible because 97 bucks a month is not going to do much for you it requires a lot of volume to be able to make money doing so low ticket is mostly more for once you make your six figures your first six figures, then you create a you can create a low ticket program and run ads to it, and start building um, you know a low ticket monthly recurring revenue business. So hope this training video helped, and I'll see you guys on the next one.